Hello, hello, hello! In this video, we are asked to evaluate each function for the given value of x and write the input x and the output f of x as an ordered pair. So just as a reminder, the f of x is another way of saying y. And remember what an ordered pair is. It's some x and some y. In other words, we have an input x. We put some number in and then we get some number out. So uh, if you need to see that visually, of course, you've got a little machine here. And um, so this one says, hey, let's put a four in. Four, and what comes out? So that's what we're going to do. So number 17, let's take a gander there. So f of four. So we're going to put that four in right here and here equals 17 times 4 plus 3. And so now we just simplify 17 times 4, 68, plus 3. So f of 4 is equal to 71. And as an ordered pair, it's a 4, 71. In other words, you put a 4 in, out comes a 71. So evaluate each value, so write the input as an and output as an ordered pair. So here is my answer, because I input 4, out pops 71. Let's do another problem, and uh, maybe one of the more complicated looking ones. So let's do attack number 24. Okay, so for this one, I am going to insert the 9 into the function there and there. So f of 9 is equal to two ninths and insert the nine here minus nine halves and see what we do with that so f of nine is equal to and now this is nice because nine divided by nine there gives me a one and i just bring down this two now so a two minus nine halves and depending on how your teacher prefers i'm going to rewrite this as 18 uh, excuse me four over two minus 9 over 2, and then we end up here with negative 5 halves. If you prefer fractions, or uh, that's then we do this. If you prefer decimals, then you would have uh, converted this to a 4.5, and then this here would be a negative 2.5. And so now, how do we write it as the answer we're looking for? 5, negative 5 halves. And there we go. So here is now our answer as an ordered pair. Now, the next question is on number 29 and 30. Find the domain and range of each relation. So, explain briefly what a domain and a range is. I like to consider this as a kind of a, a flashlight. The domain is the question, what values of x is represented in this curve, this function right here? what values of x. So one way to, that I visualize that is I make a, a flashlight here, woo and it's going to shine a light, okay? And so as the light is shown, we're going to get a shadow. And the shadow here hits this wall of the x-axis all the way here. And we know it keeps going this way, and we know it keeps going this way because these arrows keep going out as well. So in other words, where where does the shadow lie? Are there any holes in the shadow? Or does it the shadow stop? And the answer is no. There's always going to be a shadow here. So in other words, my domain, the all the x values is going to be all real numbers and we tend to use this little squiggle to represent all the set of numbers that we do. So all real numbers Okay, now we're going to ask the same question, but now we're going to rotate our flashlight, and we're going to put the flashlight going horizontally, and so it, it's going to project over there. So, let's... Okay, and so the question now is, what happens when the light hits this? What, where does the shadow fall? And notice that even if I shift it down here, where does the shadow fall? So let's uh, do that. The shadow is now here. There is no shadow down here. Why? Because there's no function here. And so the shadow only 
goes here and up. And we know it continues to go up forever because of that. So in this case, the range is going to be all the values that are above zero. In other words, y is greater than or equal to zero. Or you can say, you can say it in words, all real numbers greater than or equal to zero. So how do we do number 20 or uh, 30 here? So we just look for all the x values here. These x values are uh, when you do the shadow here or when you do the shadow on top. Okay, those are my x values. So the domain is going to, we're going to say that the domain is between certain values. It goes here all the way to here. And by the counting is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. It looks like it includes negative 3. So there's the equal to. Now x is less than or equal to all the way up to positive 3. So there's my domain. It's all the real numbers that are from negative 3 to 3, including those. And now let's do the same thing for the shadows this way here. Oh, we did that. Now let's project it this way and project it this way and see what we get. Well, projecting it like this, we get our sh 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 shadow, which is right there. And so what is that going to be? The range is going to be the highest it goes is a 1, and the lowest it goes is a negative 1. And so we say y is, excuse me, negative 1 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 1. And we do the end squiggle. And there we go. Hope that helps.